Welcome back to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and the Starfield Shipbuilder is producing some absolutely sick looking designs. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the insanity this game lets you create. The city sized behemoths, the mosquitoes, the iconic and even the deadly, along with Thomas the Train. Yeah, there's something here for everyone. Thanks again for your continued support for my Starfield uploads. In case you haven't yet done so, please hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are greatly appreciated. Chapters are available for a smooth and easy viewing experience. And I hope you are prepped for launch because here we go. Kicking off our look at these insane Starfield spaceships, we've got to begin with the Planet Express, of course, from Futurama. It says, I'm addicted to building ships. Here's the Planet Express. This one comes to us from SP7R. Look at this. Futurama would be happy with this creation in Starfield. Let me see what other shots we have. Oh, beautiful in the sunlight here in New Atlantis. Just look at the coloring and the, the little detail, the outlining on all of the cargo pieces. I love it. This this takes some dedication. I don't have this kind of dedication. I can't go into the, into the shipbuilder and just create these kind of things, but this looks exquisite. Well done. Next up, we've got this one from new to gem It says, extremely jealous of all these creative ship builds. Here's a wedge. And you know what? This looks like something exactly like I would create in the ship builder. Put down some hab units, put some cosmetics on it, give it some weapons, a reactor, a grav drive, call it a day. You're out in space shooting at things in under 10 minutes. I love it. And of course, we've got this death wedge flying through space. Love the thruster look coming out of the back. Photo mode is such a welcome addition to Starfield. And then we've got the planet side view as well. Very well done. Love it. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. There it is. The magic school bus in the flesh in Starfield. Another just exquisite creation from SP7R. This one says, take chances, make mistakes, get messy from Miss Frizzle and the magic school bus. Just look at this thing. Man, the time it must take to create these things, the coloring, the, the height, just planning it all out. It's just something I don't really engage with with Starfield. But for those of you that are able to create these things, incredible job. This is insane. All right, you know you spend too much time in the shipbuilder when you make something like this. This is a creation from Weihi159. Hopefully I said that correct. And the caption says, I become obsessed with building large ships so big that they can't fit anymore. And this damn thing seems to be overflowing way into Aquila City. That is insane. Look at it in the ship builder. It just looks like it goes on for miles and miles. Here it is on a planet side. Oh, look at this thing in space. Wow, that is a massive ship. Just check out this next creation. It says, when you're addicted to building ships, SR-71 final version, possibly my best build yet. Coming to us from Random Ozzy. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And they've recreated the SR-71 stealth fighter up in space. Just look at this thing. I love those Deimos fins on top of the engines back there. Really gives it that characteristic SR-71 look. Just look at this thing in space. Man, if I saw this thing coming, I would probably just hightail and book it out of there. Love the vapor trails coming out of the motors. And then we've got some shipbuilder looks at it as well. Incredible. C-Class 40 reactor. Love this thing. I would love to see this thing actually with some live action as well. Too bad they didn't include a video. I'd like to see it in combat. But incredible creation here. Check this one out. Basically, a banana has brought us an Imperial Star Destroyer using the All Parts Unlocked mod from Nexus Mods. And it says, my attempt at a ship from a galaxy far, far away. I love the use of the cosmetics that give it that wedge look. Of course, out in space. Oh, landing planet side as well. Looking gorgeous up in space as well. Got that double tiered look to it. This thing must be massive on the inside. 
Look at the use of the cosmetics on the rear as well, all around the engines, and of course the bridge up on the top with the double reactors on it to give it that double radar look. This, this takes a while. This is impressive right here. Very well done. This next creation is absolutely beautiful, coming to us from Mr. Kane332, and the caption says, So I tried to build something unique but normal. Took me a while to realize how to properly blend ship parts. Got this in the end. Your thoughts. I love the overall ship design, the coloring, the overall white base coat with the black accents, and they've got you know, the orange highlights in there. That looks sick. We've got some in space shots look at the hollow portion in the back back behind where the grav drives and everything are really unique there just nothing but engines in the back of it of course some more space shots looking out a portal out towards the back of the ship as well that is pretty cool and then we've got some shipbuilder looks as well really sick job on this one i may actually try to create this for myself We've been taking a look at some absolutely massive ships. Now to the other end of the spectrum, down to a wee ship. This one says, I got this wee thing down to 199 mass. Anyone else building a wee ship? This comes to us from Shambling Corpse. And you can see down there in the ship builder, it says mass 199. This thing looks like it's just a cockpit with some landing gear. It's got some bolt-ons and probably an engine on the back. And that is it. You know, personally, I would probably not feel comfortable taking this into combat in space. This thing is absolutely tiny, but it probably handles like a dream. Popping up again in our review is SP7R. This one says 50 hours of playtime and 40 were spent in the ship builder. Here's my latest build, the Black Widow. This looks incredible. I love the red accents on the spine of the back of this spidery creation. Let's see what other shots we've got here. Of course, parked in New Atlantis. I love the bird's eye view. Look at that one as well. Flying through space. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this thing. And yeah course the contrail look as it flies away into the distance beautiful creation you can never go wrong when you let your child design your starfield spaceship just check this one out it says my boy designed this ship this comes to us from yuri was a spaceman they've got the starfield ship up on the screen the lego version on the shelf down in front of it actually pretty close between the two and there's a caption down below it says he's building a lot of lego duplo spaceships lately now we can fly one of them very well done and to your son yuri was a spaceman so far, some over-the-top, super creative ship designs. I'm just so envious of what people are able to do in this component of Starfield. I just don't have it within me. I take a ship over. I go into the ship builder. I maybe add a missile launcher, maybe change the entire color over to just flat black, and I'm just done with it. But... We've got a lot more to go with this. Let's continue on. This is by Tamir Devlad, and it says, My first ship made from scratch. Name ideas. Shipbuilding is amazing. And just look at this thing. Just a beautiful creation. I love the use of the dark components along with the teal highlights. Just sick looking. This looks beautiful to me. This next one is just crazy it's called the bulbasaur this one says bulbasaur ship build credit curtis builds on youtube and it is posted by its druv just look at this thing it looks like they took the initial frontier ship and they expanded it outwards and then upwards and added on a bunch of components to it absolutely wild looking design on this one You've always got to appreciate it when somebody spends hour after hour in the Starfield ship builder. And then on top of that, they come up with a full blown tutorial guide so you can make a ship just like theirs. And that's where our next ship design comes in. This is the final horizon posted by Charming Gear 4080 along with the caption. After a fair amount of requests, I made a fully labeled build guide for my Constellation Cruiser colors included and i'm definitely going to be bookmarking this one this looks like a type of ship i would love to rock out in space i love the bridge way up on top and in the back of course all of the colorings and the accents are just spot on and it's a level 40 c reactor so this is a big ship 
Of course, with the flexibility provided by the Starfield Spaceship Builder, we're going to see a lot of ship designs coming in from outside influences. You've got everything from Mass Effect to Halo to Star Wars, and that's where our next two ship designs slot in, both posted by Neoc182. This caption says 31 hours, level 12, because too busy building ships. I hear you, and it says Normandy SR2. I believe that's going to be from Mass Effect and Firefly class, which I have not seen. But this Normandy SR2 looks straight up beautiful. I love the outer hull with all the blue highlights on it. And of course, blasting off there with all of the thruster action. That looks incredible. The underside as well, gorgeous. And what do we have here? Oh, this is the Serenity, right? Serenity from Firefly. That looks actually really well done. I haven't seen one done this well. Yeah, look at that. Everyone seems to love those behind action shots where the ship is flying off and you've got like the actual vapor trails coming out of the engines. Both of these by Neoc182 are gorgeous. But wait, we are not done. We've got plenty of more ships to take a look at. This next one was posted by the Swordmaster, and it says, I fused together some of my favorite ship builds from this community and made something special. I present to you the Arc Light. And look at this thing just blasting straight up. I love it. I love the wing designs. Those are actually probably some of my favorite. There you go, the underside. You can see it through the light. Everyone seems to love these asteroid shots and these shots where the ships are flying away. Love the coloring on this one too. Just it just it looks very angular, very sleek and the the engines look like they're contained kind of underneath, almost hidden like almost like a stealth ship. Love it. Flying through the asteroids. Yes, flying towards us. Yes. Flying away from us. Yes. Look at the engines contained in the midsection underneath. That is a really cool placement of those. Of course, you've got to have the rings in the background and the trails coming out of the engine. Another great shot through photo mode. Oh, yes. Flying straight into the abyss. Imagine if that was a black hole. Really well done presentation here by the Swordmaster. Now, we knew that animals were going to feature heavily into ship design. They were featured in the Starfield Direct. I think it was called the Flying Platypus. It was also talked about in one of the dev vlogs. And here is another animal-inspired design. This is the Capybara. This is posted by Lou69. And it says, my boyfriend spend his last hour to build a Capybara ship. I think they're trying to say, my boyfriend spent the last hour building a Capybara ship. And just check this thing out. I love the use of the landing gear as legs short little stout animal looking thing here uh, i love the coloring on it as well and of course the uh, thrusters uh, i guess mounted mid hull definitely a cool looking design on this one one aspect that I really appreciate about the Starfield community is that as you continue your adventures throughout the Starfield universe, you're finding models of spaceships. Maybe they're displayed at a vendor, maybe they're on a table, maybe they're in a display case, and you're taking photos of those and then using those as inspiration while you go into the Starfield ship builder and you're recreating these models into real life in-game flyable ships. And that's the case with this next post by Actually Gun, and the caption reads tried to build the ship displayed in the lodge and they've included a photo of the model that they used and then check out how spot on they are oh my god this ship looks awesome well done actually gun i would love for you to have maybe included a name or some actual footage of it flying through space but this is spot on gorgeous of course, we should all know and expect the heavy influence that the Mass Effect franchise will have on the Starfield ship builder. Here's another one. It says, How to Build My Normandy SF2, posted by Bizzle 94588. Looks incredible. It says, Not only is this ship strong and fast, the best thing about it is that it can be built at perk level zero in piloting and ship designer, with the exception of two modules that I used from a spacer ship I commandeered and used as the base. Wow, they took that spacer ship from mild to wild. Faithful recreation. I love it. 
I sit here in awe as I look through these different ship designs, just how beautifully engineered some of these creations are. And this next offering from Plastic Pineapple 47 is no exception to that statement. Just check out this creation. There's no name to this ship. It just says, my latest ship build. I love the use of the dark components along with the cockpit way in the back. They've got a secondary photo. Oh yeah, there it is. Flying away. You guys seem to love this photo mode as the ship's flying by with the thrusters on full burn. I love this one. Plastic Pineapple 47. If you ever see this video, we demand a full build tutorial. Of course, no Space Explorer's fleet would be complete without this offering from Superfast Jellyfish. First ship build I've been truly happy with cost 200k, so 200,000 credits to make this one. Certainly not a cheap ship to make, but not an overly expensive one to make at this point either. Reactor B, so we're probably looking at a mid-sized ship as well, but I love the coloring on this one. It's low, sleek, and wide. It looks like something that the Space Marines would be flying, like Ripley would be descending down to the planet to take on the Alien Queen and this thing. There you go. It looks like a Corvette in space, but in camo earth green. Love it. And there it is on the landing pad. So beautiful ship design on this one. Of course, we should expect to see a heavy Star Wars influence when it comes to creating ships in Starfield. Here's one posted by McFatters. It says, another take on Mando's N1 Starfighter. At this point, shipbuilding could be the entire game and I'd still be buzzing. I agree with you, McFatters. Check it out. And I love the laserized effects firing over both sides of the hull. Got a second photo in Shipbuilder. Absolutely amazing. From small to absolutely behemoth city-sized, check this one out. This is the Virgil Tongue Mark I, my first bigger ship, just recently posted by Kakao. And the caption reads to this point, I've only built some smaller ships, but this baby took me a few hours, and I'm kind of proud of it. I love the coloring on the ship, just that all black look with the orange accents that is crazy looking and just look how wide this thing is this must look like a demon floating through space we've got another shot from behind i love the stacked engines again the subtle use of the color that is crazy man i am envious of this and of course you've got the window at the back so you get to sit back there and watch people run away from you as you come running up on them and then we've got the action shot in space weapons at full song this looks sick i want to know how to make this one you knew we were going to see some Halo recreations make it into our insane Starfield spaceships breakdown. Here's a repeat offender making the charts again. Random Ozzy. For the Halo fans, had to attempt the icon. This is a recent post to the Starfield Reddit. Let's check out what we've got on tap here. Of course, through the asteroids on the landing pad in the ship builder looking beautiful i love the coloring on this one as well of course taking off full song full thrusters and in space combat we haven't seen very many of those we've got some incoming laser fire and then making our way through the asteroids again so another beautiful faithful recreation love it some of you like to build spaceships as big as cities, and that is the case with Gamers.com. They posted this one. They said, I spend all my credits building ships. This is the Dreadnought. And this one actually has a live action montage. Just look at this behemoth. Looks like they've got some auto cannons. Multi-story, the massive cockpit doing the slow flyby here with the thrusters on burn. I love the coloring on this one. This thing must look like a demon in space. Definitely need a build guide on this one because I'd love to add this one to my arsenal. Sticking with ships the size of cities, check out this offering from Slow Vibe Actual. This is a recent post. I call her Star Thunder. First ship build. This is quite the task to tackle for your first ship it says originally the uc prison ship i decided to finally learn ship building i'm happy with the results just check that thing out that is a massive ship 
course, at full song in the space with the thrusters going. I love the use of the solar arrays on the middle to kind of give it that spine look down the center of the ship firing off a missile. That is super sick shot right there. Love it. Firing off some more of the weapons off into space. Oh, look at this crazy laser action. And then in the ship builder, well, 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 well done offering here from Slow Vibe Actual. Some players out there are not shy about taking lemons and making some sweet lemonade. And that's the case in this next post from Acadia Cat. The caption reads, redesigning a horrible ship the game gave me. It was straight up so bad I almost died falling down its ladder and it's just no. Took it apart, moved around its parts, added new ones, removed old ones, etc. More or less my first major ship build and I'm loving the results. And just check out these before and afters. Here's the original, which I would agree with you is... That's like a Frankenship build right there. There they are taking it all apart. I love it when they set it all out there in the ship builder. There it is all put back together. Wow, that is sick. And I love the coloring. Yes, there it is from the back, the triple boosters. Man, I, I'm very envious of this. The fact that they could take all of that apart and create this. They've named it the Kitty Hawk. What other photos do they have? Goober for scale. Wow. There it is at New Atlantis. And then finally in space. Superb job here from Acadia Cat. Just the creativity to, to take that trash the game gave them and create this masterpiece. Some players ascribe to the theory that less is more, and I think that's what Hobo Man is going for with this post. Shipbuilding is great. Photo mode is great. This game is great. And I agree with Hobo Man on all three statements there. They've just got a really simple ship design with some interesting bluish coloring to it, just blasting past the rings. And this is something I can get behind with this one. Everyone seems to love these mega big C-class reactor ships. Here's another one from Comfortable Pasheen. Spent too much time and credits my ship build. And I love these Stroud Eklund parts up on the front of the ships. These seem to be super popular within the Starfield community. But I also love the two-tone coloring. You've got this dark purple kind of highlights along with the, the vibrant black undercoat. This thing looks well constructed. Here it is firing through space, of course, with the thrusters at full song. Coming right at us again with those Stroud Eklund cosmetics up on the front and then in the ship builder. This is definitely, I just really dig the coloring on this ship. I've got to say that. That is a magnificent use of just some very subtle color, but it really makes the ship pop. No Starship breakdown would be complete without some Starcraft. Here we've got the battle cruiser from Starcraft, the last ship I'll build from scratch. Maybe. Yeah, I feel your pain on that one. The ship builder can be just so overly time consuming, especially if you're not very confident in what you're doing. This is posted by Lowly Fuhr, and this looks actually very well done. I love the coloring and just that iconic look to the ship. There they are blasting off with all the thrusters. This thing looks like it could lay down some hurt in space. And there it is in the ship builder as well. For all of you out there that love some overly small ships, check out the Rambler 2 posted by prestigious ad 1065 along with the caption, smallest ship I could build. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. Is this just too small? Are any of you out there actually flying around ships of this size? Let me know. All right, let's embrace that space pirate fantasy. Check out this thing from Brucus. Building ships is addicting. They've got a caption down below. Inspired by Yamato. We've already seen an offering inspired by Yamato and Harlock. Space boats are weird and cool. Front is hollowed out to fit Nova Mount with four particle beam weapons to serve as my Starfield wave motion gun. Look at that thing. That looks pretty incredible. I like the use of the radiators too, almost like space sails. And there it is on the landing pad as well. And up in space, that is a truly innovative design. 
All right, again, we're dipping outside of Starfield for inspiration. This is The Rifter from EVE Online, posted by Environmental Yak 9322 And the caption just says, Rifter. So let's take a look at what they've got here. We've got the space shot coming right at us. This thing looks wild. Check it out with all the thrusters on it. I love the overall coloring of it as well. In space combat, yeah, these ecliptic mercs stand no chance against this thing. They're going to be blasted to pieces. And looking out through the bridge, you know, we haven't seen a shot like this yet. This is got to be truly awe-inspiring when you take the helm of this thing and you're looking first person out through that glass, taking on some space pirates. That's got to be a lot of fun. Talk about taking it to the max. Check out this creation from Take Accountability 41, my favorite ship I've built thus far. Yeah, if that was my ship, I would be calling that one my favorite as well. It says I'm at the max build limit. It gives all the stats down below. Total cost, 826,460 credits. And then they say, even though the ship is quite large, it's very easy to navigate and get to and from the cockpit and the loading bay. Just check out this monster. You guys love these shots as the ship is flying away, looking at the thrusters with the vapor trails coming out the back. I've got to admit, this ship looks demonic. I would love to get a full tutorial build guide on this thing. All right, all my interstellar fans out there, this one is for you. This is posted by PTBR. I've built the endurance from Interstellar. Just check this thing out. I love these in cockpit shots too, as looking out at the ship, there they are flying to a planet. This looks really, really interesting. I'm just concerned with how many stairs you have to interact with in this monstrosity of a ship. And then they've got it in the ship builder there as well. Reactor B. Yeah, this thing looks like a faithful recreation for anyone out there and Interstellar fans. You would probably enjoy having this in your arsenal. Some Starfield players like to pilot around ships as big as a city. Others prefer ships the size of mosquitoes. And such is the case with this post from warrior poet Vivek 1516. Most people build big ships. I prefer small ships. S-M-O-L. Here are my two best small ship builds that are still pretty usable. The game won't let me rename them. Yeah, I know that's an issue because it always just reverts back. But I present to you the Hortator and Scooty Puff Jr. I'll let you decide which is which. And just check out these things. Yeah, I do just i'm a little worried about taking something this size into space and doing a lot of ship to ship combat i know some of you out there are able to do that though but these are really interesting and here's a pretty recent and dare i say sick looking ship build posted by drawfriter 84 hopefully i said that correctly latest ship build definitely my favorite so far they've called it the red fang Love the coloring on this thing as well and the use of the structural components. We've got thrusters stacked upon thrusters and we've got the looks like weapon pods out on the side. So definitely a cool design here as well. Here's another one of these ultra small ship builds. This is the Papyrus posted by JMITS. Along with a caption, I prefer smaller ships and put this compact one together. I took inspiration from the X-70B Phantom from Star Wars, The Old Republic. I will adjust as more parts become available, but I like it so far. I call it Papyrus due to its resemblance of a paper airplane. Yeah, I love this shot too. This is probably on Sidonia on Mars. This thing is definitely probably a lot of fun in a space battle. And of course, we couldn't let this galactic beauty not make it onto our Starfield ship breakdown. Check this one out. Not sure if it's been done before. I call it the Frankfurter, <laughs> posted by VR989. And this is a straight up hot dog of a machine. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is definitely interesting. 
Of course, you knew somebody was going to recreate the iconic Millennium Falcon and Starfield. This one was posted by then Chip 6367 and it says, I think I made the best Millennium Falcon on Starfield. Sticking with the Star Wars theme, and we've got this post from Da Mighty Milkman. Built my all-time favorite Star Wars ship. Wow. Starfield Reddit agrees over 6,000 upvotes. Consular class space cruiser. It does look incredible. Taking a look at it, you guys love these shots as the ship is going by with the thrusters just boosting away. I love them as well. Here it is, planet side looking smexy. And of course, within the ship builder itself, renamed Short Negotiations. I reported on this one in one of my previous Starfield uploads, and this is actually taking advantage of the gameplay mechanics and is just sheer genius. Check this one out. The by AI unbeatable ship, they shoot through the middle. This build is posted by Morpholath, and basically they figured out that the enemy ships aim for center mass. So they moved all of the ship components out to the outsides. Enemy ships aim right to the center of this cube where there's nothing there, so they don't damage anything. So this ship, while it looks highly irregular, can just fly around toasting the enemy targets and they fire back and hit basically nothing. And sticking along those same lines of really interesting ship design and downright abusing the in-game enemy targeting mechanics. This one's posted by Chaos Vision Games, my new invincible ship, the Gate to Hell. Wow, that's an interesting ship name there. Since enemies target the center of mass, no shield or engine energy needed equals overpowered weapons. And again, they've used structural components to create this massive hollow center where the enemies are going to aim and yeah, this looks really interesting. Look at it. It looks like a interstellar trash compactor, like it's heading to that moon and it's just going to gobble and crunch it up. And there they've actually taken shots of vultures shooting at them. And you can see the laser fire just going right through the center of the ship because those enemies are aiming for the center mass and there's simply nothing there. All right, and we're going to end up this shipbuilder breakdown with some absolutely wild creations. Check out this post by Cost Key 9800, Scorpion Ship Final Version Completed. And this is insane. The coloring, the use of the landing gear as legs, the tail up in the air. What? My final version of the most scorpion looking ship I could come up with. CCs are welcome. Wow. We need to take a look at the photos on this one in space. Check that out. And it's got lasers in the claws up on the front. This thing coming at you in space. Yeah, you better just high tail and hit the grav drive out of there. I wonder if the tail shoots lasers. I don't see it. I just see the claws. I wonder what the tail actually uses up at the top there. And yeah, overall, this thing is beastly. Oh my God, how does this happen? Listen to this. You thought you were space trucking before? That was nothing. Check out this 18-wheeler big rig spaceship created by Zeppelin. Hopefully I said that correctly, and they've got a ton of photos in here. I think I saw this over in the Starfield Reddit where they originally just created the rig but it looks like they've taken it a step further, probably using mods, and they've added on a full cargo container trailer as well. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. And then this little character standing on the rig itself, taking off into space. Are you kidding me? Some of the creativity in this game, and just the, the patience to create these builds is insane. Look at this thing flying down actually in space combat. I can't believe that somebody actually wanted to attack this thing in space, man. I would just hit the grab drive and get the hell up out of there. And I know this is not something you're just going to automatically lay down in the ship builder. Although you can create Thomas the Train in the ship builder. I think modded. This was brought to us from the team that actually created the Stormtrooper mod for the PC version. Currently the PC version right now. 
This is a full-blown Thomas the Train mod for Starfield. You can actually make your spaceship look exactly like Thomas the Train taking off into space. We saw this over in Skyrim. It was, it was definitely one of the most popular mods over there along with the Macho Man dragons. You had Thomas the Train dragons. Here it is in space. This looks absolutely insane. I've got to find this over on Nexus Mods because this is going in my game as soon as I can get it installed. This one was an absolute blast to make and I can't wait to read your comments and feedback about any of these crazy Starfield ships. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are greatly appreciated. All my socials can be found in the video description. Shout out to the nearly 170,000 of you that have stuck with me and hit subscribe. And a special thanks goes out to my patrons and of course to those of you firing over those interstellar YouTube super chats. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.